how to save outlook email attachments to one drive automatically so firstly i will send an email on my outlook account from a different email address and as soon as the new email is arrived here along with an attachment you will see how the same attachment will be saved automatically to one drive and to do that firstly we will have to build a connection in outlook and one drive application which i am going to do with the help of pabli connect which is an integration and automation software i am an existing user of pabli connect so i am already logged in but you can create a free account in pabli connect in just two minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of pabli connect click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i am providing the name something like upload outlook email email attachments to one drive automatically okay and now simply click on create and then you will find two boxes so these boxes are called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in the first application then automatically do this in the next application okay so this is how you need to select the applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay but in this particular video video according to our use case instead of selecting the outlook as an trigger event i will select this email parser okay and in the action event i will select the one drive only okay so let me first select the same that is one drive okay so i am selecting the same application in the action event and again in the trigger event i am not going to directly search for outlook or microsoft 365 here basically i am going to build this connection with the help of email parser now why i am doing that because i also want to save the attachments to my one drive okay if you want to collect the simple email details like the sender name sender email the subject line the body of the content in that case you can directly go with the 365 application that is microsoft 365 and can capture the details but for the attachments you will have to go with the email parser only okay so i have selected this email parser once again and as soon as i select this email parser it will give me an email address which i am going to paste in my outlook account so that whenever a new email is arrived in my outlook the detail of that email will be sent automatically will be forwarded automatically on this email address only okay for that it is asking for the access so let me provide the same firstly So I have provided the access and now I'll click on this forwarding section. Basically the idea here is I am going to forward the copy of the email to my this particular email address. Okay, so that is why I have already copied this email. Let me paste the same here. Clicking on save and this is how the connection in Pabli Connect and Outlook is successful. Okay, and now in front of you I will send an email on my Outlook account. Okay, so let me open my Gmail account in a different tab and here you can notice invoice attached for work submitted hello team it was great working with you guys i hope you are happy with my report which i have submitted earlier today i am attaching the invoice for the work i have submitted you please find the invoice attached and pay the amount as soon as possible okay so assume that this is a freelancer and he has worked with you and now he is sharing a receipt with you basically an attachment the invoice with you okay so you want to save such kind of attachments in your one drive account automatically okay so i have attached this let me also add the email address all right so clicking on this send button and here you will notice that the message is sent successfully going back to my outlook account and when the email is received here you will notice that the same email data will be received as a response in fact it is also waiting for that email parser response okay so going back to my outlook account and here you can notice the same email is arrived here let me open the same email invoice attached for work submitted and here we have the whole email along with the receipt coming back to pabli connected dashboard and here you can notice the same email data is received as a response let me show you the details here we have the two email address and here we have the from name the from email address here we also have the subject line and now i'll show 
show you other details like the body of the email okay so at last you will notice in this body text the body of the email and yes it is the same content the same email and again in last you can find the attachment links okay so this is the same invoice which the person has sent to us okay let me open this particular link in front of you and this is just our dummy invoice okay i have closed it and once you have that data that means the connection in outlook and public connect is working absolutely fine and once you have the data inside your public connect you can send that data to different application or to the microsoft onedrive application okay so now onwards what will happen every time a new email is received the details will be captured via publi connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time so the first step of our automation is done moving further now i am going to save these attachments to microsoft onedrive so the application is already selected and now i will select the action event so i want to directly upload the file into a specific folder so i have selected the same action event simply clicking on connect clicking on add new connection clicking on this connect with microsoft onedrive and then it will ask me for the access okay so i have provided the same okay and now you will have to provide the permission okay so let me click on this accept button and this is how the authorization will be successful and my microsoft outlook account not outlook i'm sorry my onedrive account will be also connected with the public connect okay so here you can notice it is connected and because we are connected whatever the folders are available inside my onedrive account have started visible here okay so i would like to save the attachments into a new folder okay so i'm creating a new folder in front of you let us provide this name something like attachments of outlook okay so i'm providing this particular name clicking on this create button coming back to publi connect dashboard and now i'll have to click on this refresh button to fetch the new items and as soon as i do that you will notice that the same new folder name will be visible here which was attachment of outlook okay so i have selected the same now it is asking for the file name and the file url okay so we have already captured this data as a response of of our previous step okay and the interesting thing here is i am not going to manually copy the above link and paste here basically i am going to map the above data and mapping is very simple when you will click on this field you will find the above step data here in the drop down okay so you will have to search for your data so let's say i want to attach the link of my attachment so i have searched for the same and this is how i have mapped it successfully and make sure that you also provide the file extension well here we already have the extension as dot pdf okay asking for the file name write the file name with proper extension which you are uploading well this is just a pdf file okay so instead of adding the jpg png i will add dot pdf and what should be the name of our file okay so i want to keep the name i want to fetch the name from the above data only okay so you tell me which particular value i can actually pick for taking the file name okay so how about i keep the file name as the from name of the person okay so i have added the same and dot pdf is going to be the extension in place of that you can also take the value from your subject line okay you can also take the value from your email address okay so this is how number of options are available here currently i am going with the same now i'll click on this button the file will be default only okay and as soon as i do that you will notice that the same attachment the same receipt will be added automatically in my one drive folder okay so where is that folder which i have created just now so the name of that folder was attachment of outlook let me open that and here you can notice publi.pdf the same pdf file has been saved has been synced automatically in my one drive account directly from outlook 
okay so in this way now onwards you can automatically sync the attachments from your outlook account to your onedrive account in real time okay and to automate this process you need to create this automation inside public connect just once okay and here we have one more interesting twist okay so currently i have created an automation in such a way that every time every single email is received in my outlook account the attachment should be saved automatically here okay so how about you want to save only specific kind of attachments in that case what you can do is you can firstly filter those incoming emails by applying a filter which is an amazing feature of public connect okay yes with the help of filter you can apply a condition okay so simply select this filter and here in this particular section you will find the same data the above data now you can search for your preferable data let's say you want to set the condition that the emails the attachments coming from a specific email address only those attachments should be saved to onedrive in that case you can apply the condition on sender email address that is from email address okay so i have selected the same in the filter type i think you should go with equal to and here exactly you can define your email id okay so let's say you want to save the attachments of this particular email address only okay so in that case in such a way you can add your email address and not just on the sender email address you can define the same condition on your subject line as well okay so let me search for the subject line and here you can pick some predefined words some set of words and define here that if my subject line contains the words like invoice okay so let me add the same again if my subject line contains the words like recept okay so let me add the same okay so in this way you can find the set of words and add it here okay and in this way you can define your condition okay currently i am setting up the condition for my subject line but you can apply the same condition on your body text also okay and again it is up to you whether you want to keep an or condition or the and condition okay so in this way you can add multiple conditions using filter so in this way you can add multiple condition as per your requirement using this filter by pably feature okay and if i'll click on this button you will see that the condition will be true okay and whenever our condition is true then only our automation will proceed further and will upload the file to one drive okay but if that condition is followed okay so how about i intentionally add some incorrect value and now i'll click on this button and you will notice that the condition will be false okay in such cases our automation will stop here only and will not proceed further will not execute this microsoft one drive step okay so let me once again correct this clicking on this button okay so this is how you can filter your incoming email and you can set your automation accordingly and not just on the subject line the body text or the sender email address you can define one more condition here that whenever this attachment link consist okay whenever the incoming email consist of any kind of pdf okay so if my mail consist of this attachment link okay so i will add here exist okay where is this exist word okay so i'll click on the save and send test request button so whenever my email consist of any kind of attachment if any attachment link is exist then only this automation should proceed for the okay so this was just a small tip from my side that you can set this single condition also okay so in this way with the help of pably connect you can automate this process and now onwards every time a new email is received those email attachments will be uploaded automatically to onedrive but before that firstly it is going to check the condition it is going to filter that incoming email okay and once this automation is ready inside your pably connect account after that you do not have to do anything manually simply create this automation sit back and relax and public connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually and just in case if you want to access this three step automation inside your public connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box so simply click on this link and then sign up for free into the public connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own public connect account that too for free
Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabbly Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabbly.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabbly Connect and for the latest updates of Pabbly Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.